1978 bearings to 2020 bearings. What are the differences between generation one to generation three Dana 44s and anything Advantech that Jeep has come out with recently? Let's get a deep dive into it and find out what makes the Dana 44 tick. All right, so we've switched over to um, this top down view of my uh, roller bearings that I have here. I wanted to actually show you something very, very unique. I have a bearing here from 1978. Um, I did a solid axle swap on a on a older Bronco, but it was a full. It was the old TTB axle ac Broncos, and if you know what those are, it's quite kind of a mix between independent front suspension and it's a, a solid beam axle, kind of like what we have under our Jeeps. Um, I took that TTB axle that kind of just splits in the middle, took it completely out and put an axle in that looks like a Jeep. So it's called a solid axle swap is what I did there. And this, that solid axle swap came with a, I found a, and sourced in Dallas, Texas, a 1978 Ford Bronco. And guess what it has in it? Um, roller bearings. These are Timken roller bearings from 1978. They are older than me uh, by a little bit, 40, they're 42 years old and um, almost almost the same age as me, I'm 40, and this year. And um, these are 2020 bearings out of the Advantech Dana 44. So let me stop here for a second. Let me, uh, let me explain something. This is the side carrier bearing on a Dana 44 from the last, uh, see, 1940, the 40s, the, the bearings were, um, the Dana 44 was first made. Uh, and the reason the name Dana 44 came along is that it's good for 4,400 foot pounds. And um, those are American SAE standards. Um, but that 40, Dana 44 means 4,400 foot pounds. The Dana 60 is good for, what, what would you guess? 6,000 foot pounds. So Dana 44 to Dana 60, you get 4,400 foot pounds up to the Dana 60, which is 6,000 foot pounds. Why I have such a, a love for the 44 is that it's been around for a very long time since World War II, just after World War II, and it's still going on today. We're into the third generation. So the major changes have happened in the last 20 years. Uh, Jeep went from this style. This is the same bearing you would find, and you can reference these part numbers. This is the bearing number 20, 25590, 25590. This same Timken bearing you can find in Jeep TJs, 1970s technology, and it's in the, in the early 2000s TJs. It's a good bearing, it's lasted a long time, there's nothing wrong with this. It's good for the 4,400 foot-pounds of torque that was designed for the Dana 44. There was a generation between here in the Jeep JK, which is from 2008 up until 2018, so for 10 years there, they made one that was just a little bit different between these two. And it was good for, uh, the Jeep JK was good for 8,200 Newton meters. And what that means is that, well, what's a Newton meter versus the 4,400 foot pounds? Well, if you convert Newton meters, which is um, 0.737, so it's just under, a, a Newton meter is just under a foot pound, if you're converting them, to 8,200, and divide that in or uh, multiply that by 0.737 you get 6048 foot pounds well where did we hear that 6000 foot pounds from before what else has 6000 foot pounds of capability oh yeah the old dana 60s so you're telling me i have a dana 44 under my truck in the advantech third generation and the jk axles which is just about the last 10 years i have an axle that's good for over 6000 foot pounds of torque that's pretty amazing. And I don't know that Dana and their wisdom trying to sell Dana 60 axles, it's not the same. It's going to be, a Dana 60 has a bigger ring gear. It's gonna be stronger. It's gonna take um, impact loads and stress loads differently than a Dana 44. But my point is, is that we went in 10 to 20 years time from the TJ up until the JK and the JL, and now the JT pickup, which is what I'm working on to a Dana 44 that's good for 6,000 foot-pounds of torque. So I now essentially have Dana 60s from the old school. I have something as big as Dana 60s in my Jeep that can handle that extra extra beating. 
So you have a, a similar degree of angle on these. If you were to line them up, you can see they're about, they're about the same angle. So that didn't change. But the bearings on the old one are longer. And Jeep engineers, um, Dana engineers decided you didn't need that much length for the side load of the, of the truck because the axles are also full floaters in the front axles in the rear. They have uh, their own bearings. So they decreased the size of that to save weight and for emissions, they're trying to get better miles per gallon. So they're gonna design the bearing a little smaller in some ways to make up for that. But you get a much, much stronger bearing. The new Dana is called an M220 and an M210. Go to my previous videos, you'll find out why they're called that. I have a whole video on why they're called the 210 and 220, and that's the millimeters of the ring gear. Those axles, axles are still almost the same size and they still have the same 8200 nanometers torque, but the ring gear is slightly smaller and lighter. That helps with gas mileage. The other thing here is that Dana says that these are rated at 8% higher torque than previous generations. You're now getting an advanced generation of that called the Advantech. That's why Advantech is so different than any other generation of Dana 44 and Dana 60. You're getting those full advantages and that technology in the third generation um, bearing. So go check out my other videos. I, I cover the ring gear, the actual differentials, uh, the lockers that I'm installing into the JT pickup and uh, my project truck and uh, check out those videos as well. I'll leave a uh, link in the description for you. That's all I've got for today's video and I know sometimes these get talky. I don't want to I don't want to do too much of that but I want you guys to be well informed. Uh, click like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you guys think and uh, give me some ideas for the next uh, next video you'd like to see. Uh, what about the Jeep makes you tick and what can I provide you guys that uh, maybe you haven't seen in the umpteen million videos that are already out there for the Jeeps. Uh, it doesn't matter what model or make, I've had them all, but I can uh, provide you some insight and maybe do some teardowns. Thank you guys and uh, take care.